ladies and gentlemen, this is what it looks like when you have months of bills or email that hasn't came to you that you have to go through. Today, I'm getting organized. Putting on my big boy pants. Let's go. I couldn't handle any more paperwork. I was on the phone with just annoying adult stuff that you have to do. Um, things like that take away, I think, from, you know, if you've ever read Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, you've heard about quadrants. And I might draw this out for you guys, but quadrant one is urgent and not important. So when I say not important, I mean not important to me and the larger picture and things. I've been doing a lot of things in that quadrant today. Um, you know, internet getting set up, things that are necessity, but they don't like pertain to my roles and goals of where I wanna be in life. So it's kind of been a busy day. I'm gonna head out the door because I need some sunshine. So I'm walking down. You guys wanna see my neighborhood? Check out my new hood, let's go. I'm at Whole Foods. This is just down the street from my house. So I walked here. Um, got tons of restaurants. I'll give you the tour. We'll, we'll uh, walk around and show you the neighborhood. Again, I just moved here, so I haven't been to most of these places, except for Whole Foods. I'm here every day. It's in walking distance. One slice of apple, celery, cucumber, ginger, kale, spinach, and lemon. That, my friends, is tart, but that, my friends, is how you drink things that are good for you and not want to kill yourself because it tastes like garbage. Not gonna lie, I have to add a little, add a little stevia in this. Sue me. You know, people always ask me what's the best part about living in the US, and I would have to say, this might sound bad, but the grocery stores. So you got things like Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Sprouts, um, the, the, the grocery stores here beat anything. Winco, they beat anything you see abroad, I think. I do like M&S in England, but um, I'm a fan, fan of like fresh, organic stuff, which I think other countries do a better job of. Um, uh, like overall, like in restaurants and things like that, but as far as grocery stores, nothing beats things like Whole Foods. Does anyone know where I'm at? Leave it in the comment section below. Goals here. Part of my, uh, my, I guess, rededication to my fitness lifestyle because of what I want and what makes me happy. What's not on there is that Hot Daddy restaurant behind me. It's burgers. We got Starbucks here. We got nice cream. Nice cream is, is organic vegan friendly options, frozen yogurt. How do you guys think that would taste? Um, over across the street, we got a cycling class. We got yoga, it's kinda cool. This is uh, the most, I would say, Orange County feel of anywhere in LA, which is why I picked it. And I live approximately quarter mile down the private road here so it's absolutely perfect for what I'm doing because I work a lot out of restaurants and Starbucks. One thing there is not a shortage of around here is restaurants. Restaurants everywhere. I feel like um, there's more restaurants in, in this little mile square block than there was pretty much in five miles around my house growing up, or maybe like 10 miles, but yeah, Life Kitchen. They all sound so healthy too. Life Kitchen, Urban Plates. This one looks awesome. Urban Plates looks not as awesome as that though. What is that? 800 degrees? Nepal, wow. Neapolitan Pizzeria? That will definitely be hit up. Movie theater up top there. Gotta make a friend in charge of letting people into the movies so I can just go watch movies whenever I want. Like I can't pay for a movie. I can pay for a freaking movie. I, I'm such a cheapskate, guys. But this is the neighborhood. Lots of uh, nice apartments, houses even. It's an expensive area though. California, I will say, 
Some super duper expensive yoga studios, men's hair salons. It's like specifically for men. All I know is I want that burger right now. I want it. I just had that green juice and it didn't fill me up. Um, we'll show you guys the gym. I, I probably pr wouldn't have to to leave this area um, except for the fact that I like working out at Gold's and then for stuff I'm doing with my agent. But the gym here, we're gonna have to show it to you. But it's super, super like tight security. I don't even know if they're even gonna let me in because I don't have my key card yet. There's not a ton of people in here. So I'm wondering how these places all stay in business, but I guess all of them are still brand new. So we'll see here. So I expect life to be different here in, in LA. Obviously, LA is kind of, it's different than anywhere else I've ever been in the world because of the, the type of people that it attracts and also just the hustle and bustle and traffic. It all comes with that, but I feel like I've put myself up in a pretty nice spot here. Got a lot of nice smelling plants and a nice gym to work out in, which they did not let me in. I went to it and they said, nope. You can't go in because the person you're renting from has not put you on the list yet. So I guess even the gyms here are hard to get into. It's like a club. There will be no club going out. My whole purpose for being here is to make connections, use my agent to align me with people that I can grow my brand and more of a mainstream space. Um, to further my education, so looking to get a couple more certs uh, to train, maybe get ready for a comp, um, and then to just collab with people. Um, I'm gonna enjoy the sun, enjoy trying something new, so I think once a week I'm gonna try a workout of different sorts. So lots of yoga, Pilates, surfing, MMA, acrobatic yoga, um, aerial yoga, I think that's what it's called. Um, um, you know, maybe maybe join a rugby club, practice there, just find something to push my body in a new way once a week. That's the goal. So this is the section that's really close to my house. We got Pinkberry. I mean, I'm honestly within like shouting distance from Pinkberry. That's trouble because Lord knows I love me some frozen yogurt okay. at all hours of the day. Got a nice little park across the way here. I got a dentist office. I got, ooh, yummy.com. We're gonna have to check out what that is. Yummy.com, oh, more Pilates. More Pilates, I'll tell you what. I, I'm gonna be able to do Pilates until I'm blue in the face. I've never done Pilates in my life before. But uh, yummy.com, let's check this out. this was built before Whole Foods because it looks like it's just a natural grocery store with things that aren't so natural. Game changer. Diet root beer. I'm cool with this place. So I guess if I don't feel like walking the, the four minutes to Whole Foods, I can walk the 30 seconds to that place. Yummy.com. I have the coffee bean. Coffee bean's nice because it has almond milk. So does Whole Foods in their coffee area. We got a sushi spot. Hmm. Uh -huh. the Hawaiian pokey. Um, yep, that's happening right now probably. Great food coming soon. That's never, never a bad thing. There's even a dry cleaners, which reminds me I need to do my dry cleaning. Look at this little park. So much room for activities. I'm gonna get arrested for getting kids on my videotape. That is weird. I'm gonna go see what this Hawaiian Poke Bowl is all about. Walked in, ordered the Hawaiian Poke Bowl. It's that easy. I literally live right across there, right across that park. Guys, don't be creepy. Maybe it actually, it's actually over there. I'm trying to confuse you guys. Yeah. I wanna steal her. Pretty good. 
and the surface here was super, super fast. And I have already found a spot to watch the Bronco game at the Gulp Restaurant Bar and Pub. That will definitely be the spot where I'm watching the games last year or in my new 65 inch 4K curved TV that should be getting delivered, whatever you're getting delivered on Wednesday. That's when they said. A lot of cool. So this is the park. I don't think it's big enough for sprints though, guys. I don't want to turn the camera because there's kids. Yeah, definitely not big enough for uh, for sprints. There's all these concrete barriers too. And that pretty much concludes uh, my hood. Stuff for a little pokey. Did not get Pinkberry. That'll be later tonight. It's been a long day, but I told you guys I was going to show you the gym. I finally got my key card, my access to the gym. So now we're going to head out of my complex here and down the street we're gonna I'm not gonna jog there because I got my camera I'm gonna be able to jog there and then we're gonna hit my workout I got about 45 minutes till this closes it's gonna be quick quick workout tonight show you how you get done not a lot of rest time the good and bad part about having frozen yogurt right across the street is I have to exercise self I have to exercise willpower every time I pass it the nice thing about having it right there is post-workout, I could run back down to it, and as I pass it, I can stop and get it. Pretty much whenever I want. Everyone has awesome looking dogs here. I need one, but I travel too much. The only thing I will say I don't really like down here is the lamps. They kind of give off a gnarly light. There it is right there. You got the treadmills going on up top. Wide open air, let's go work out. Cardio done. Might have only taken four minutes to jog here, but still pretty good cardio next to this luscious green plant wall too. How can you not want to work out? I feel like I'm breathing, I'm breathing better oxygen because of all these plants helping me breathe. I don't know what the shit I'm talking about right now. Crazy high security though. I'm telling you right now. Crazy high security. I don't even know if I'm gonna take you guys in with me. Okay, how you doing? I made it. So my vlog camera died. So I'm on my iPhone. Don't judge me. I'm gonna take you guys around for a quick quick little tour again this is in you know if you, if you live in the condos here you get access to this um, pretty much dumbbells up to 100 you got speed ladders they got ropes you got these crazy cool things here I don't even know what those are but they're pretty legit and then they got the techno gym techno gym pretty nice this is kind of cool you can go outside and train. There's a track that goes around the outside of this. Some trees growing in the middle here. I'll tell you what, this is like an indoor outdoor gym. Bikes, treadmills for days. Nicest apartment gym. I mean, this isn't really an apartment gym. They have people that work it and everything. Um, this is the track. Out here, they just leave these windows open a lot of the time. And then check this out. This is pretty sick. So you run, you can do stairs. You can do stairs, you can do plyos. So there's the stairs, you can do the plyos or you can just do sprints up this. Wanna take a dip in the pool? The resort. This is my hood, peeps. This is my hood. Hopefully it doesn't make me soft. All right, ready? He's ready to do this, let's sprint up this. And then back down. This is intense. Warm up over. That's enough. I ran here. 
ran up this incline. Let's go get some weights, because I don't get about a half hour now. Supersets everything. And that is how we do it late at night. Just chest, supersetted. Uh, four different chest exercises. Sorry, no I didn't. I supersetted six different chest exercises. Um, also did some face pulls, some pull overs in there. So six, six exercises for chest, um, one for rear delt, and then one for kind of a lat chest tie in, rib cage expansion. Pretty nice gym. Could be training there often, especially early morning cardio. It's nice just to get up, run to the gym, do the cardio, whether it's swim, whether it's bike, row, treadmill, do uh, plyos, whatever it is, and then head back, eat breakfast, and then go get a lift in. It's pretty much my hood. It's my hood right here. This isn't a hood. You got like two million dollar houses everywhere. We got Range Rovers everywhere. Just, you know, you know it's a nice neighborhood when the Range Rovers are just parked on the street. I wouldn't leave my Range Rover on the street, but it's that nice of a neighborhood. It's crazy. You seeing these? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Not in Idaho anymore. That is for sure. All right, I'm gonna go back, get a little protein, a little rice puffs. I'm gonna have to show you guys, teach you guys about rice puffs. And then I'm out. Gonna go fall asleep before 10.30, wake up at five. You have to really like rededicate yourself to that from time to time. You have to speak to your why. And my why in doing all of this is because I can't get it out of my 